Hello, this is Ness Tilson here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use Stair Designer to design a spiral stair. Although Stair De Designer does have a specific helicoidal stair command that can be useful in certain circumstances, this command is very limited and will not create usable manufacturing documents. For this reason, I suggest that a spiral stair be designed using the normal multi-flight stair commands. This will produce all the detailed working documents and make it easy to build the stair. Designing a buildable spiral stair in the multi-flight stair options is fast and straightforward, but to get a clean buildable design, it's important to follow a strict procedure. So let's go over the basic principles for designing a spiral stair with Stair Designer software and let's have a look at the design process. On screen we can see a spiral stair that I've set up with Stair Designer. We can see that the stair has a hollow central post. Stair Designer will not draw a circular post in multi-flight mode, but I'll explain later how to change this post to a circular pillar and how to use Stair Designer to get the drawings to manufacture the post. Let's start a new stair and set up the parameters of the stairwell with the multi-flight stairwell parameters dialog box. Let's set up a stair that's going to fit into a stairwell that is circular and has a diameter of 200, 2,000 millimeters, that is 2 meters by 2 meters. Let's set the length of the first flight at 1 thousand millimeters that's one meter and now let's set the width of our stair at 900 millimeters let's add another flight and give it the full width of our stairwell which is two meters two thousand millimeters and let's add another flight at two thousand millimeters and let's add the last flight at one thousand millimeters one meter and update our values we can see here with 16 steps that our steps are very short. Let's change it to 14. 14 looks okay to me. Um, let's just say that looks okay. So let's um, click on the OK button to accept these parameters. Here we can see Stair Design has automatically built a multi-flight stair with right angled strings, strings joined together in right angles. Let's change these angles now to um, curved junctions, curved strings. Let's click on the assembly point, add a curve, and let's make this curve half, uh, half the diameter of our central post. So that's going, we're putting in a post of 200 mil. Let's put this curve at one a radius of 100 mil and we just go over the different points of our string assembly points of our string and put in a curved section to join them up now let's do the same thing for the outer strings we go to the outer points of the strings and let's join these together with an arc this time putting it 1000 millimeter which is half the diameter of our stairwell 1,000 millimeters. And now the, all the strings are curved. That looks quite neatly. And we can see here that there is a little problem is that our tread line has not followed the curves of our strings. What we want to do is we want to put our tread line into the middle of our stair. So Let's click right again and it's in the menu let's choose treadline radius and let's put our treadline radius um, at 550 so that it will end up in the center of our flight of stairs 550 and let's go over the different curve sections and do the exactly the same putting the treadline into the middle of our flights of stairs. 
thread line flows up the middle of the stair, which is what we want. And there is another point now, is that the, if we look at the collets around the central post here, the collets are not equal, or equally distributed. That's because the stair is still a winding stair. So let's change the winding parameters to zero so that we will distribute the collets around the post equally. So we're going to put, change the winding parameters to zero here. Now the steps are all distributed evenly around the post and we have a look in 3D, we've got a nice spiral stair. with a hollow central post. And this is the stair after we've added a couple of newel posts on the left hand side. The stair now is ready to be exported in 3D DXF so that we can rework it in a CAD program. So let's do the export and let's go into SketchUp to see what we can do with this stair in SketchUp. So here we are in SketchUp and let's just load into SketchUp our 3D uh, uh, Stair Designer DXF. So I'll go Import, our Spiral Staircase and here we have our Spiral Staircase coming in and here we have our Spiral Staircase. Let's give it some textures so that it looks a bit more like our actual Stair Designer um, model. First of all we're going to explode this, which comes in as a component so let's just explode it into its different parts let's have a look it's already organized in layers so let's just for instance take uh, let's just um, take everything away and we just have here the um, the balusters and let's put some let's put some material on the balusters let's put some translucent material on the balusters and let's put um, something which is a bit translucent looks like glass which was like in our original model. Let's now put the steps in place and the steps for instance let's put some um, more a darker material for the steps so let's just put in some steps here. I'm just going to click on the steps and give them material texture in SketchUp. So you can see working with the Stair Designer 3D model in Stair Designer it's really easy um, in SketchUp, we just everything's well organized in layers, so we can add our textures as we need them. Um, we can let's go here and let's just add our different textures to our hand rails. Let's uh, add our textures to our strings. And let's have a look on our other string here as well. Let's add our textures to our other strings here. Our exterior string. See, SketchUp is really very, very easy to rework this stair in SketchUp. And here we have our, our stair in SketchUp, which we can now modify. For instance, if I now, this is a hollowed newel, but let's say we want a, actually a rounded newel on this. Let's just put a bit of material here too. There's a little bit of first of all let's get let's take that say that we want to now make the whole we we'll select the whole stair and let's give a a better appearance to it making it more taking away the smoothing off the angles. And now let's say we want to put in here a full post. So let's add a layer Okay, called post. Post. Um, let's make this active. Let's um, now let's draw this post here. Let's uh, put in a construction line. That's our center line here. Let's now put um, here to here, and let's just draw it out to here. Now let's drag this post upwards and make it the same height as this post here. 
and now we have a circular post let's put the material on it and let's get rid of this this post here so this would be right string and now we have a stair with a central post on it and what's interesting is here that um, this stair has now got a central post on it um, but if we go back into stair designer and if we have a look at display our string boards this is the string board the exterior string board and here is the interior string board here with the development of the position of all the step housings so the actual string board here if you print this out you get an actual template or you can use it in a, on a CNC you can get the actual template to actually machine out the post here all these housings are actually machined out for you so that's quickly how you can set up a stair using a, a spiral stair using stair designer stair designer 3d here to set it up very quickly and sketch up to finish it off and it's very easy as well to add if we look in another one several together you can pile them up and make several several types of several flights of stair one on top of the other so thank you very much for looking hope that's been interesting for you see you soon in another video goodbye